Ah, in the uh, in the last video uh, for this Texel, we left it with uh, the ears coming off, as you remember. So I've just picked up some uh, curly elm. Uh, so uh, there's no real gray, uh, real straight grain, and we'll make some little ears out of that. The first one we're just super glued on, and then we're going to peg it. Then we're going to put another one on and then we'll have to fashion them and uh, see how we go on. So I think that's looking a bit better. That's okay. So we need to glue the next one on. So we have to make a flat and uh, super glue that on. Then I'm going to just drill and I've got uh, a nice little uh, dowel there. So we're going to pin the ears as well and hopefully that'll... Uh, uh, help them, uh, you know, survive anything. So back in. A right, the second day is on. Uh, it's just drying. We've had a bit of a struggle with it. Had to take a bit of material off to try and get it near enough where we want it. Uh, there'll be a lot of bulk to take off the ear. We'll have to hollow it out for the front, obviously, where uh, you know where it's hollow. And uh, if that don't work, we'll we'll try again uh, until we. To get the thing right. So, as soon as it's dry and we can start pegging and what have you, we'll be back. Alright, okay, so ears are on, we've got pegs in, we've got to start shaping the ears here now and uh, see if we can get something like. If not, they're coming off again and we'll start again. Alright, won't be long. Right, we've run a little bit further now, so the, the ears are in. And uh, I think it's starting to look like a texel a bit. So lots of work to do on it. And say, just refer to uh, the pictures and keep plodding away and hope that uh, you know it comes right. Uh, good thing to do is go away and then have a break for five or ten minutes and come back and then you see things with fresh eyes and realise what else needs doing. So that's the state of play at the moment. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what you think, but it's. Uh, I wonder what the customer will think. But anyways, it's 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 far from finished. So there we go. Uh, you see where we've uh, pegged the ears, and uh, I'm hoping that they'll survive many years. Back soon. Right here we are again. So we managed to fit an eye. The other one I've lost. It's on the floor somewhere in all the dust. So there we go. Um, I'm I'm not too displeased with that. Still a lot of work to do, but it's certainly coming along. I think it's looking a bit like a texel. So uh, there we go, folks. Sorry you've not seen a lot of work in this one. I've really wanted to get on. And when I'm running the, the videos, you're a bit distracted. Uh, I just wanted to concentrate on what I was doing. So there we are. Uh, we'll see you in the next one. Hi, welcome back. Uh, another day. Right, so we, we left this uh, as is. Uh, might have done a wee bit more work on it since you saw it. Deepened the eyes, made sure that the glass eyes will fit. Uh, got all that ready. Deepened the nostrils a bit. Uh, I think the thing to do now is to prepare a shank for it. And uh, then we can make the two together. Uh, once we've got that done, um, we can think about painting it and making it look a bit more uh, uh, real, let's say. But uh, on the whole, I'm uh, fairly happy with that. Never done one of these before. So uh, there we go. So um, when we make some progress, we'll be back and we'll show you what we're doing. Right, we picked out a shank and uh, it's a piece of chestnut. Uh, quite light for chestnut, but it's a piece of chestnut. Uh, reasonably, reasonably light in the hand. Um, so we're going to go for that. We're straightening it up a bit and uh, then we'll get it to about 52 inches tops and we'll start uh, jointing it. Um, it is a bit on the small side there. Mike can reconsider it but I don't want a heavy stick. Uh, the, uh, the chappy is a, a sheet man so uh, he'll only be going to mark it with it but even so he don't want to be heavy. So when we get that prepared, we'll be back.
Right, we've uh, just about straightened this. It's, it's chestnut, there's a lot of, uh, you know, what would you call them, wriggly lines in it. So I've got it as uh, straight as we can. For the real tight um, bends, we've got this little, uh, what would you call it, jig for getting uh, bends out. And then for the other one, if I can turn this round, if it's going to play, we've got uh, this one down here, which is sort of, you know, a lot kinder, uh, takes bigger sweeps out, works very well. Uh, so there we are. So the next thing now, drill the end of the, uh, the shank, and uh, I think we've got a 13 mil uh, drill bit to go in there. We need to make some dowels up, and. Um, and we make the uh, the head up, and I've got a nice brass collar which I'm going to fit on there, and uh, we'll see how we go on. So that's it for the moment. We're back soon. <laughs>